a while back uh there is a dear family of mine uh, or that i know in christ and they lost their father not too long ago and the lord gave me a strong word uh, while i was in prayer for them and he told them get this word to them and i gave them this word but i would like to share some of it with you today the main word that stood out is paradox paradox means uh you know it, it, it makes no sense but yet it's something that is there at the same time but it makes no sense when you have lost someone you can be experimenting sadness while at the same time you could be laughing and and, and 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 rejoicing that they're before the lord or laughing about something that they did while they're still alive and it makes you laugh because it, it's great joy they're good memories they did something funny they said something funny they brought they brought joy to your life, but at the same time, you're missing them and you're in pain. Paradox. A paradox is like when someone says, we want a leader who's strong, who doesn't listen to everyone and can make decisions on his own or her own because they know what to do. But yet people say, we want a leader who listens to the voice of the people, who listens to those that they govern or listens to those who they lead. That's a paradox. How can you have both? Well, you need to have both, but that's a paradox. It's interesting though because when we're, when we're dealing with the issues of dealing with the stages of grief and we've lost someone, we also have a paradox. We have all these emotions. We even put flowers in the graves because it's really a situation or think about it, a, a, a graveyard, it, a cemetery has hundreds and hundreds of people buried. You are walking among a lot of people who have died and a lot of people come here in a very somber and, and very sad sentiment. But yet there's flowers to remind us that there's still something good in this life that we have to keep going. And there's more beauty to life that still is yet to come. And we don't leave them behind. But at the same time, we realize there's more good to come. Paradox. Experience the sadness accept the sadness accept the depression accept the the worriness accept the the loneliness accept the uncertainty accept the anger accept the joy accept the shock they're the different stages of grief that god has put in our makeup in our emotion or in our psychological makeup now i'm not saying to accept something evil but accept the emotion and let the Holy Spirit process it. Now, this is what you can accept. You cannot accept to find the answer as to why you're feeling the sadness, why they're not here anymore. Why did they die? Why did all this happen? Why are you feeling sadness? Why are you feeling guilty that you're glad they're gone now because you're not in pain anymore, but yet you feel guilty about it? Why do you feel joy knowing that you still wanted them here, but yet at the same time, you're glad they're gone? Why do you feel all that? Why do you still feel pain and, 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 and loneliness knowing that they were suffering in the stage four of cancer and you wanting them to stay here would have been, you know, basically selfish, but yet you still wanted them here. Why do you feel guilty about that? Well, why do you, all these questions about why, about your emotions, you will probably never have them answered. That is where you're torturing yourself. That is where the enemy will torture you when you want to know the why. Paradox is experiencing everything, embracing the emotions, but not necessarily wanting to have or expecting to have an answer for all those emotions. The stages of grief, the Holy Spirit will use them to bring healing and restoration to your soul. I want you to hear this verse that you hear a lot during these times. Philippians chapter 4 verse 17. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Your heart is your emotion. Your mind is your thought life experience that experience the 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 fear experience the the anger and i'm not saying to that you have to live in fear but you can go from being fearful to then all of a sudden being angry to being in shock to not knowing why 
to being angry to being to laughing it doesn't mean you're bipolar it just means that you're experiencing the different stages of grief when you've lost someone but in the whole process the word of god says that he that means god will guard your heart and your mind you're not gonna lose it it's god's way to help you come through full restoration emotionally and also spiritually. Not necessarily that you have to accept to stay in one stage of anger, stay in one stage of, of depression, but that you're going through them knowing that it's gonna end. It might take longer for one or the other, but it's gonna end because it's not for you again to know the answers to why of all and each and every one of these emotions. What is important is to embrace that God knows it all. You shouldn't know the why, but God does know the why. All God wants you to do is embrace the emotion and let him help you. Let him heal you. Let him guard your heart and guard your mind through this grieving process. Paradox. It makes no sense, but let him be the one that makes sense in your life. If you are in need of counseling because you've lost someone, or maybe you feel that it's gone beyond grief, now we're talking about a need for deliverance, then please reach out. Our number and our email is there in the description. We wanna be here, make an appointment. We're here to help you out. And again, paradox, accept it. It doesn't mean that you're gonna live there forever, but it does mean that God knows the why, and it's not for us to know the why. It's for us to experience it, and to know that God knows the everything and knowing that it will be the guarding, the loving, the restoration of our heart and our mind, our soul and our spirit and have a healthy life. God bless you until next time, I'll see you here.